Hi everyone, we were seeing full wave rectifier in the last video. We have seen half wave rectifier completely. Then I asked you to refer full wave rectifier, rectifier by yourself. I think you are clear with the full wave rectifier, center top rectifier. We are going to see the full wave rectifier using bridge circuit. So this is the bridge circuit. The circuit arranged in this fashion, it is known as bridge circuit. You may study the same circuit in plus 2. And normally we are using to measure the resistance by using the eastern bridge, where we are using the principle of bridge circuit. The same bridge circuit we are using here. And how it is working? This bridge circuit, how we are getting the... This bridge circuit we are using to get the alternating current to a direct current or unidirectional current. So how we are getting that one we can see here. So take this one see in this case you are applying a sine wave at the input side then take the first half cycle so if th this is the first half cycle then the positive at the top negative at the bottom so you are getting this one like this okay and then next one the transform transform the same positive to here negative to here then you can see this positive comes here and negative comes here the positive connecting to the p side of d1 and n side of d4 and negative is connecting to n side of d2 and p side of d3 and there's a chance this positive the d1 the negative of d1 can connect with the p side of d2 through this r so, by this arrangement, the D4 become reverse bias, means it will be open circuit. Then D3 in reverse bias, it is open circuit because the positive is connected to the negative of D3. Similarly, positive is connected to the P side of uh, D4. So, this positive is connected to the P side of D1, negative is connected to N side of D2, then the current flow will be from positive to post positive to D1, then D1 to RL, from RL to D2 and this coming to transformer. So the current flow will be this direction. Okay, and we can mark their current flow like this. That current flow like this. Same as to input. Then take the next half cycle. In the next half cycle, what will happen? So remember here the current flow is from positive to negative that is RL to the plus of RL to negative of RL. This left to right to left. Don't forget it. Right to left. Then we are taking the next half cycle. The next half cycle what will happen? Again the next half cycle when this comes this changes its direction means the top is become negative bottom is become positive just to opposite to previous case that negative reaches here by the transformer positive reaches here same thing reaches at, at the diode point that is at the circuit then negative is connected to negative of d4 and positive of d1 Similarly, positive is connected to positive of D3 and negative of D2. Then, 
the by the same discussion in the previous uh, analysis the d1 become reverse bias since the pz is converted to negative and d2 become reverse bias since the nz is converted to positive d3 and d4 will be forward bias the current flow is starting from the positive that is from bottom position then it is pass through d3 then passing through r and then d4 and coming back to the transformer then see here again current force happens from positive to negative only positive to negative only the previous case also current flow was like this d1 r then d2 again positive to negative only so whatever the direction of current the current flow at the output it is happens in unidirection so we can say the current is converted from ac to dc see here current flow in the case of first half cycle current flow from positive to negative through d1 rl and d2 we mark like this in the second half cycle again current flows from d3 to d4 through rl and the direction is from positive to negative the same direction of previous case so again we can mark it is same direction so what are the direction at the input the direction at the output will be unidirection this is the working mode full wave bridge circuit so we are getting a dc signal at the output side so the detail you can see here the same thing what we we were explaining that you can see here see bridge circuit then it's working in the first half cycle it is like this second half cycle it is like this in both the case the output current flows in the same direction so it is converting dc signal to ac then the detail explanation is given here so this also showing which diodes are conducting at a time so d1 d2 this these two are conducting and d1 d2 conducting in the first half cycle d3 and d4 conducting the second half cycle so whatever the polarity at the input side output polarity is constant it is not changing and the comparison of half wave center top and bridge it is given here the major comparison that you can easily understand number of diodes used in the half wave it is one whereas center top the full wave is two bridge it is four this is the one of the disadvantage of circuit we require four diode in the case of bridge circuit this is the only one disadvantage of bridge circuit when it is compared to center top remaining all are advantage for bridge circuit then second one is the half wave it is only one but the dc value is very low so we require anyway full wave but in the case of full wave center top it is bridge circuit center top we require only two but in the case of bridge we require four diodes but the case of center top we require a center top transformer that is a complicated case because the setting that center top transformer and get the output is complicated compared to that one setting up bridge is more easy so the anyway even though we have four diodes compared to center top bridge is more easy and less complex next one peak inverse voltage this is one of the important concept that you can easily understand the peak inverse voltage it is nothing but if you are taking the half wave rectifier see when the diode is not conducting what is the voltage across that diode it is known as peak inverse voltage take this case diode is not conducting means the polarity is negative here and positive here and that voltage we represent at v and what is the voltage when diode is not connected means when diode is reverse bias what is the voltage across the diode there is no current through rl so the voltage across the rl is zero 
same V voltage that is coming across the diode. So the peak inverse voltage of wave, half wave rectifier it is V. Then take center top transformer. In the case of center top transformer, take any one of the uh, condition that is one of the uh, diode is reverse bias. In in this case, you can see. Take this case. In this case, you can see when this diode is not conducting, this D2 is not conducting, the voltage across this one, center tap, this is V, again, voltage across this one, it is another V. So, V and V. Okay. So, two V are here. Then, this V is forward bias this diode so this diode is short circuit then that voltage is coming across this RL so across the RL also we are getting same voltage V then so two parallel V here so parallel voltage source V and V so parallel when voltage source is parallel we are considering it is same so V voltage across this one that is adding with this V so you will get two volt two V so, in the case of center top transformer, the peak inverse voltage 2V. Then you take the case of bridge circuit. In the case of bridge circuit, take any one of this case. You can take this case. Then, in this case, you can see. This voltage here it is V. This diode is short circuit. This diode is again short circuit. What is the voltage across these two points? That is question. Or voltage across these two points. Okay, these two points. Then since this is short circuit, you can redo this circuit like this. is like this then this point is this one diode is short circuit the resistor will be like this again it is like this so this point plus is here then this negative is here the voltage across this one is V only so for the peak inverse voltage of bridge rectifier it is V only so this is the major advantage of bridge rectifier. For center top it is 2V, whereas bridge rectifier is V only. So we can use less reverse bias voltage here. That is in the diode which has less breakdown voltage that we can use for bridge circuit. For center top we require the diode which have high breakdown voltage. Then remaining this DC output voltage. This same for center top and bridge and it is 63 percentage whereas half wave it is 31 percentage that is major advantage ripple factor amount of the ripples present in the full wave rectifier that is only 48 percentage whereas in it is 120 percentage 1.2 ripple frequency this is means the output frequency that you can easily understand like this the output of a half wave rectifier it is like this output of a half wave rectifier it is like this full wave rectifier it is like this then the frequency of input signal is like this for one frequency we have two frequency here so for a uh, full wave rectifier its frequency is twice the input frequency then transformer utilization of frequency. The utilization of transformer it is nice in the circuit compared to center tap and half wave. Efficiency is same as in the case of full wave and center tap and half wave it is half. So this is the major. Then remaining details are given here. The major disadvantage is for diodes we are using. Next class we can see.
सेनर वोल्टेज निकलेगा 